Welcome again to the old principal. I am the old principal and we are going to spend 30 minutes looking at some English, looking at a story, actually a story from one of my friends. Uh, this will be lesson number 197, The Stolen Guitar. Jita. So, do you know how to play the guitar? Well, maybe I can tell you about my experience. But before we get too far off the subject, let's listen to the story. Story 197. The Stolen Guitar. Jim delivered newspapers to a group of homes near his house. He began early, distributing the morning papers before going to school. After school, he'd deliver the evening news. On Sunday, he only delivered one paper, but it was about three-fourths of an inch thick and required much more effort. Jim had a problem with his route. The city had scheduled the area to be leveled for a superhighway. People were selling their homes to the city and moving out. Every week he had fewer customers on his route and his profits dwindled. As people moved out, their houses might sit vacant for weeks or months before the wrecking crew came. Jim and his friends enjoyed exploring them to see what the owners left behind. One evening they explored a house with a lot of things in it. They enjoyed going through the trunks and boxes. Jim discovered a guitar and took it as part of the things the boys removed from the house. Two days later, as Jim delivered papers, he suddenly felt a jolt of fear. A man was loading a trailer with the things he was taking from the house. So it hadn't been vacant at all. The owner had just been away and now he'd returned to see his things strewn all over the house. Hmm. Jim knew that the guitar he had taken hadn't been left behind. In actual fact, he had stolen it. He stood there for several minutes. He knew he should go back to the man and confess what the boys had done, confess that he'd taken the guitar, but he didn't. He was afraid. For many years, when Jim played the guitar, he felt pain in his heart. He wished that he had taken it back. Taking things that belong to someone else can leave a memory in the conscience that can stay for years, perhaps for life. Welcome back. Here we go, the stolen guitar. Jim delivered newspapers to a group of homes near his house. So, uh, we are talking about a paper baotong okay, a paper boy. He is a paper boy. He delivered newspapers uh, to a group of homes near his home. 靠近他的家,一些家庭, okay, a group. <clears throat> now, if you're in the city, that could be a large group. Going on. He began early distributing the news morning papers before going to school. After school, he delivered the evening news. Now this is fairly impressive because before school, before he started his uh, going to school, he would get up early and he would deliver song bao. Okay, okay. He would deliver these newspapers ah, to these homes. And then in the evening, after school was over, he would deliver it, uh, some more papers. Take a one bao. I was like morning and evening papers. Okay, going on. On Sunday, he only delivered one paper but it was about three-fourths of an inch thick and required 
much more effort. <sighs> Actually, I have some experience. For a brief amount of time, I was a paper boy. Okay. And when it came to Sunday, the paper was about three-fourths of an inch thick. Okay, now you think about it, uh, an inch, an inch is about like this, about maybe two and a half centimeters. So we're talking about two centimeters thick. It's very heavy. Um, when I delivered newspapers, uh, then I rolled them up and uh, and I rolled them up and I threw them. But on this paper, when it's three-fourths of an inch thick, um, 四分之三的英寸厚, okay, then it required much more effort because you couldn't throw it. There's nothing you could do. You just had to carry it and walk, <laughs> carry it to go uh, to every door. There's just nothing you could do. You had to carry it there. Going on, Jim had a problem with his route. Okay, now, I want to, I want to point out this word here, route, is lu xian. <clears throat> but when you're talking about newspaper route, it's true. It is lu xian. But the uh, but it is song bao de lu xian. Okay. So Jim had a problem with his route. The city had scheduled the area to be leveled for a superhighway. Now, here are a couple words that we need to pay attention to. Uh, scheduled. Okay. Okay, what is scheduled in this place? Okay, so you ji hua are ding li yi ge shi jian. Schedule. Usually we have a shi jian biao, right? That's a, normally our translation for schedule. But here it is that the tamen you ji hua are yi jing, yi jing ding li shi jian. The area to be leveled for a superhighway. Superhighway, of course, is Gao Su Gong Lu. So it's a superhighway. And it says that the area was going to be leveled. Hmm. Leveled? Well, if you, if you take everything down, you take everything down until it's down on the ground. That's what it means to be leveled. That would mean the city had scheduled that the area would be all broken down and carried away and it would just be flat ground because they're going to build a super highway. Uh, sometimes we say, Freeway. A freeway is a super Gaosu Gong Lu. Going on, people were selling their homes uh, to the city and moving out. Okay, people were selling their homes to the city and moving out. What does that mean? They were selling their homes because their homes now had no value, right? Because they had to take them down. So the city said, we will buy your homes. And then they were moving out. That means they were moving to other parts of the city or somewhere. 
And it says here, every week he had fewer customers on his route and his profits dwindled. Another couple good words here, okay? Every week, okay? Every week he had fewer customers. Fewer customers. Uh, okay? On his route. Okay, Song Pao de Lucien. So there are less on his paper route, less customers, and his profits dwindled. Profits, of course, we know what profits are. Profits are so ru. Okay, and if you say they dwindled, that means they got less and less. Yelai Yeshao. Okay. His profits, okay, that is his shoru, became less and less. As people moved out, their highest houses might sit vacant for weeks or months before the wrecking crew came. As the people moved out, okay, as the people moved out, that means as they moved away from their house, okay, their houses might sit vacant for weeks or months, okay? So, their houses might sit vacant. That means nobody would live in their houses for weeks or maybe months, 几个月. Because this is a big, this uh, is a big project. And then it says, before the wrecking crew came. So, let's think about this. The people sell their houses to the city. They move away. And then what do they do? The houses just sit vacant. Nobody is in their houses. Vacant means nobody is there for weeks or months before the wrecking crew comes. What is a wrecking crew? A wrecking crew is yi chun yuan yao ba fang zi chai xia lai. To wreck means to break or to destroy, or to break down. So this is a crew that's going to come and break down the houses and level it. Right? Going on. Jim and his friends enjoyed exploring them to see what the owners had left. Jim and his friends, remember this is a real story, right? This is a real story. Uh, this, uh, and this is my friend. By the way, his name really isn't Jim, but I just we use Jim here. Jim and his friends enjoyed exploring them to see uh, what the owners had left behind. Okay, explore, tan xian. So they enjoyed exploring these uh, houses. Tan to see what the owners had left behind. Okay, the owners had left behind. Okay. 那些主人呢,他们离开的时候所留下来的 What? they had left behind. Going on. One evening, they explored a house with a lot of things. Whoa, this house had a lot of things. Next question. How did they get into the house? Hmm. This, they explored a house. Okay, Tan Xian. Uh, had a lot of things in it. 
Mmm. And they enjoyed going through the trunks and the boxes. So what are they doing? They are opening the trunks. This is a Okay? A And the hands. And they're opening them up. Okay? And we're going to see. When you open it up, and you open it up, of course, you think that the people are gone. So you open it up and you say, oh, don't, oh, don't. And you just throw things here and there and everywhere. You know, it's just uh, probably making what we would say a royal mess, okay? Uh, they enjoyed going through the trunks and the boxes going on. Jim, uh, okay, they go, went through the trunks and the... Jim, go ahead to the back slide. Jim discovered a guitar. Gita, so that's the thing that we're going to... He discovered a guitar and took it as part of the things that the boys removed from the house. Okay, 自己带走了是他们... 这个拿走的这个其中其间的一样东西 uh, The guitar and took it as part of the things that the boys removed from the house. Going on. Two days later, as Jim delivered the newspaper, he suddenly felt a jolt of fear. As, this is two days later, as he is delivering the newspaper, he is going by this house, he suddenly, suddenly felt a jolt of fear. Yi zhen. Yi zhen, hai pa, huo ju pa. Why would he feel a jolt of fear going on? A man was loading a trailer with the things he was taking from the house. A man was loading a trailer. A trailer is a torture. It's usually just a box. It's a box with wheels under it and you attach it to a car and you just, that's the reason why you say torture. It doesn't have a motor, it's just attached to the, to the car or the truck and wherever you go, it goes also. That's a trailer. And so he was putting the stuff in the box. The man was loading a trailer with the things he was taking from the house. Tong. But notice this next thing. This is very interesting. So it hadn't been vacant at all. This was not a vacant house. There were still people living there. It wasn't vacant. Busakonda. There were actually people living there. Uh, maybe they were away. Maybe they were buying a new house. I don't know. The owner had just been away. What does it mean to be away? Li Kai. If the owner, Zhu Ren, okay, had been away, that means he has left the place. Okay. And now he had returned to see his things strewn all over the house. Now he had returned. And as he returned, what did he see? His things strewn, okay, all over the house. When things are strewn all over the house, what does that mean? That means that, well, first of all, I would say 
乱七八糟。Things are all over everywhere. To be strewn all over the place means, 不是那么整齐，啊 ，or 调理 Things are just everywhere because the boys, when they went through the boxes, you can imagine when they went through the boxes, they were just taking things out and throwing them away and and things like this, and. You know, they didn't care. The owners had gone, so they thought. Tom and Eway, but not really so. Going on, Jim knew that the guitar he had taken hadn't been left behind. It, in actual fact, he'd stolen it. Okay, notice, Jim knew that the guitar he'd taken. Okay, so he knew. That the guitar, this guitar, he took out. It was not left behind. 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 Ji Fen Zhong, go ahead. He knew he should go to the man and confess what the boys had done.、Uh, confess that he had taken the guitar. He knew, he knew, that he should go to the man and confess what the boys. This a 承认，这个他男男孩子们所做的事情，承认 that he had. Taken the guitar. He 那个吉他是他自己拿走的 Going on, but he didn't. He wasn't. He was. He was afraid. Ha!、Uh, like many many people, they are afraid. 不好意思呢，这个没面子了 So he didn't do that. He should have, but he didn't. Going on, for many years, when Jim played the guitar, he felt a pain in his heart, and he wished that he had、uh, taken it back. For many, many years, when Jim played the guitar, can you imagine? Now, I, I I'm just using my imagination right now. But every time, let's get out there. Well, I can.、Uh, maybe, maybe this is my guitar. Okay. So every time I am playing guitar, and I see the guitar, and I hold the guitar in my hand, what do you think I'm thinking? Oh, where did this guitar come from? Uh, this guitar, 到底是哪里来的？来自什么地方啊 ？See, see. So this is, this is what you're thinking. For many years, when he played the guitar, he felt a pain in his heart. 在他的心有疼痛，在他的心。In this case,、um, what does it mean? Heart. Heart is another word we use for the mind.、Uh, your heart itself doesn't feel pain. Well, I guess it did. You could have a heart attack or something like that. But this is where you feel pain inside. It's a way of thinking. He felt a pain in his heart. He wished that he had taken it back. This was what he wished. Tahoe, okay. He wished that he had taken it back. But he didn't take it back. But it was too late for regret. You can't do it now. The man is gone, and you don't know where the man has gone. 
going on. Taking things that belong to someone else can leave a memory in the conscience that can stay for years, perhaps for life. Let's go over this one more time. Taking things that belong to somebody else. Now, I must admit that some people, when they take things of others, then they become sort of hardened, uh, they calloused, uh, they don't think about it. But for most of us, when we take something that belongs to somebody else, at least at the beginning, we, 我们的良心不舒服, huh? 良心, uh, okay? Taking things that belong to someone else can leave a memory in the conscience. Okay? So the conscience, 这个良心呢, 头脑, 还会有记得, uh, that can stay there for years. For many years, you will remember this. And some people, what they do, what they have stolen, the words that they have said, they stay in their mind for a whole lifetime. So, that's the story of my friend. Now, you can write a letter to me. We do have an email address, theoldprincipal at gmail.com. And we have a website, www.theoldprincipal.org. With that, well, I must say goodbye. I've enjoyed being with you, and I hope that you'll join me again. Bye-bye.